Well, hello there, everybody. This is Mike from Mike's Magic Auto Detailing and Paint Enhancement here in a blustery Sharpsburg, Georgia. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Christmas Day, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, boy. Hi, some of you may remember or may have watched yesterday. Started a rinseless wash on Sally because she was nasty. Hadn't been washed in about six weeks. Been sitting outside, driven in the rain. Some of you may remember those photographs where I had showed you how dirty, nasty she was. She could use a strip wash, uh, but that's just not practical when it's, what, like 20 degrees outside. My hose is frozen because <laughs> I forgot to coil it up and bring it in. Ah, so I just gave her a rinseless wash right here in the garage and I've just gone over this entire car and I cannot find where I did any scratching whatsoever. I'm sure I probably did, but if I did, I can't find it. Uh, did rinse this wash on the wheels and tires as well. Some of you may remember that one photograph where I had wiped off some of the grime on one of those wheels with my finger. Uh, as soon as the weather permits, I do want to pull her outside and strip this old tire coating off, which has been on there a couple of years now. That, that's optimum tire coating, I do believe. Stirrable stuff. <laughs> I've got some new stuff I want to try out. Uh, I think this is the wheel that I had showed you guys earlier that was really, really dirty. And some of you may remember the photographs where you could see all the where all the crap had splashed up and mud and stuff all over here. That turned out very nicely, I do think. Oh boy. <laughs> but oh boy, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way she looks. You know, after such a long time of being neglected under ideal conditions. Hey, Mr. Collins! Merry Christmas, bruh! I would have like to have gone to another level but you know when it's this cold outside it's just not practical but i'll take this for the time being and i think most people with daily drivers would be relatively happy with this now what i may do another time is maybe tomorrow is i do want to prep this glass again and maybe try to get a little bit more of the scratching out I got a lot of it out last time, and then prep it, and I want to recoat it. Hey, Mr. Copley, huh? Because this coating that's on this glass has been on there about three years, and it was only rated at two, so it's time to redo it, and I might do that tomorrow. <laughs> but yep, just a rinseless wash. And I was going to show you guys again. This is what I used this time. The McKees 37 SIO2 Ceramic Rinseless Wash. Oh man, now this is not a how-to video. There's plenty of those out there. Matter of fact, McKees has a couple of those. And no water, no hose, no nothing. Just a bucket of the rinseless wash, a couple, some wash mitts and drying towel. That was it. And I mixed up three gallons worth Karen all right I started out with three gallons of the rinseless wash you can look over in the bucket and that wash mitt has probably absorbed some of it and so you can kind of get it in perspective there's the water line right there so it looks to me like there's almost three gallons of water left so if you don't have access to water outside those say if you live in an apartment or something like that or like the rest of us it's not really practical to get outside and with the hose when it's this cold so in your car is nasty you don't want to run it through one of those commercial washes which i definitely do not recommend uh, for many many reasons or if you're just a conservationist and you want to conserve as much water as possible I probably used maybe a half a gallon of water. Hi there, Miss Robinson. Maybe a half a gallon. Uh, I used my cordless sprayer. 
I pre-sprayed the panel first, let it sit for a couple minutes because these rinseless washes, and there, there are other brands that are pretty decent, they have in them what's called an emulsifier, Kathy, which encircles the dirt and lifts it away from the surface, which is what keeps you, part of what keeps you from scratching the paint. And it also has a lubricant in it that gives it what we call lubrosity. There again, preventing scratching, which a normal two bucket method, blah, 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 the traditional ways will scratch the paint much more than this ever will. But this method is not practical all the time, but sometimes it's like here, Today, I mean, it's so damn cold, it was my only really option, and I wanted to get her cleaned up. And you may remember them photographs. I did the wheels and tires also, Kathy, with the rinseless wash. They were really nasty. I don't think there's a photograph where I had wiped some of the grime off with my finger so y'all could see. <laughs> there you go. Did the front end, the headlights, everything, all the glass. I'm, you know, satisfied with it. You know? <laughs> And I'm not overly worried because this car is slated to go to the paint shop pretty soon. Now, this is an Il Cheapo Mako paint shop. It is horrible. <laughs> but I guess it accomplished what it was meant to accomplish. You know, did the, the rear end, all the tail lights, all that stuff. It didn't take me very long. As I said, Kathy, there are probably a hundred videos on YouTube about how to do a rinseless wash. Pick your method. <laughs> you will save time. You will save money. It's a safe method if you do it properly. And it saves water. And saves your butt <laughs> when it's so cold outside. Like now, you can't get out there and wash your car, but you want to get it cleaned up. I'd like to say, I'm happy with this. This is fine. And as I said, you know... With the utility bills these days, I saved a lot of water. A lot. But if a car needed strip washing, then this is not what you would want to do. And a lot of our cars do. Sally does. But it just wasn't practical. So this is something I did in the interim till I can weather permits and I can get out there and do a strip wash. She needs strip washing because she's been sitting outside probably about six weeks, Kathy. While I was working on customers' cars in here, drove her in the rain, let the rainwater dry on it. So I know as I'm standing here, there's going to be bonded and probably some lightly embedded contaminants, which is okay because on this car, I had put what's called a wipe-on self-leveling clear coat because the paint was so horrible after wet sanding, all that stuff. And then later, I put a ceramic coating on it which saves your paint, helps save your paint, and makes it easier, much easier to clean up. Trust me, uh, that's one reason this one was much easier to do this rinse wash on, was because of the ceramic coating that's on there. But hey, you know, it'll work great on other cars. I've done it on customers' cars, and it turned out fine, you know. But sometimes, like I say, in this weather, you just don't have much of an alternative. But if you really want your car clean, this is the way to go for now. And there are basically, Kathy, two types of rinseless washes. The one like I use, and there are several different types and brands, but that has the SiO2 in it. It leaves some protection behind. O&R makes one that's called Wash and Shine. It leaves a little bit of wax behind. And then they do make some that have no protection in them. You can wash the car with it and it leaves no protection behind. Those are handy when, when you're done, if you want to put your own protection on, say a coat of wax, sealant, anything like that, because it leaves the panel squeaky clean. Now see, I can't put, I'm limited, if I wanted to put more on here, I'm limited to what I can put because this is an SiO2 residue that it left behind, which makes a very shiny, glossy surface. But it doesn't last long. Hey, Miss Jen, uh, my daughter. <laughs> so 
you know. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Murray, Murray, Murray Christmas. Uh, that's why I gave myself a Christmas tin, a clean car. <laughs> All done in the garage here. Never lifted the garage door up. This is a wrenchless wash tin. Very handy. Uh, when <laughs> you're like me, you forgot to bring your hose in and it's laying out there frozen solid. <laughs> oh well, oh well. So anyway, I, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, this is a day, you know, this is a driver car, it's not a show car. Jen, I also did the wheels and tires with the rinse and swash. Hey, Miss Kimberly, how you doing, huh? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm just about to sign off of here, Miss Kimberly, but you can go back and watch, re-watch the rest of it and find out all I did to my car here. This is my 98 Mustang GT. Yeah. But it is not stock Kimberly, as you might suspect if you've ever heard it run on one of my other videos. No, it's not stock. <laughs> it's been what I call Cobra sized. <laughs> Oh well, oh well, maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> but that's the stuff I used Kimberly to do this rinseless wash with. Go back and watch the rest of the video. I explained the rinseless washes. <sighs> Did the glass, wheels and tires, all with the rinseless wash. Never got a hose out. That's it. Uh, you know, she was nasty, Kimberly. She'd been outside for about six weeks while I worked on other people's cars. I'd driven her in the rain probably a half a dozen times. She was nasty, dirty, lots of road grime on there, splash up from the rain. And this rentist wash got every bit of that off and no scratching. This is actually safer in many instances than doing your traditional wash with the two bucket system and all that kind of stuff you know and there's probably a hundred videos on YouTube about how to do it and Kimberly as I said earlier there's basically two kinds of rinseless wash one like the kind I used this time on purpose that leaves behind some protection it's not very long lasting but it does leave behind some protection if you're in a hurry and once you're done with the car you don't have time to go back and put whatever kind of protection on there you want to it's already good for probably a couple weeks to a month depending on your environment and the other kind of rinseless wash leaves no protection behind and i use that in particular circumstances like if i were going to wash her and i wanted to go back and put a different type of protection on there I could do so but see this is a SIO2 base so you'd have to use an SIO2 or a synthetic based product on top of it if you tried to use a spray wax or a wax based natural based quick detailer or something like that you would get a lot of streaking and it'd be very difficult to do because they don't play well together so you have to stay within the system that's what I say, these companies that have a system, I recommend using it if you just don't have an in-depth knowledge of the chemistry of all the products and that sort of thing, a lot of experience. But hey, she's getting ready, she's gonna go to the paint shop soon. But you know, for now, a daily driver, she's okay. Merry Christmas, Miss Kimberly, I appreciate you. Thanks for dropping by. Wish I could see you guys, maybe someday soon, huh? All right. Take care, everybody. Like, tag, share, follow, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, all that internet stuff. <laughs> oh, Lord, thank you very much. Bye now.